welcome back to another video this is Nazia Kosa from Mozambique um, well I am here just to record a video about the place where I went you're gonna see in this um, in this video some clips over the place it is called the one show palace well I'm on holidays and <laughs> finally and thankfully we're done with the semester we're done with the exams hopefully the grades are good and it has been a, such a great experience, a, such a challenging experience because guys to study abroad is not the fanciest thing ever. But we're here to talk about Wanshou Palace, please watch it. It's a very interesting place. I mean, when you're inside a place, I'm gonna just round and make the clips go here, go numb. <laughs> so it's like when you're inside the place, it looks like a palace, it looks like looks like a village like a real village in china like the ancient villages from Qin dynasty tang dynasty and it's like when you watch watch the videos from not watch not videos but like it looks like the movies chinese movies that we used to watch when we were kids or we, when we were younger um when you see like kingdoms fighting against other kingdoms and when you see like kings ruling over a, a dynasty or a, not a dynasty but a kingdom it looks a bit a little, a little bit like that oh it playing it, it is playing <laughs> i just put this to play because i don't want my computer to go off but <sighs> if i just okay i don't want youtube to strike this video but yeah it was playing the empty man <laughs> i like that movie well this place is very interesting because when you just go inside it's like it looks like you are in a movie like you are inside um of a village in china a very old village and one of the things that makes living in a village not in a village but in kind of a district like not a very popular or big city in china it it's the fact that you you get to experience the the traditional side of china the calm side of china because i don't know how life is in in places such as shanghai beijing like big cities big popular cities but to live in in jianxi or hunan maybe the provinces around jianxi it's it's cool for me it's cool most of the people here complain that this is not very developed but i'm like well comparing to mozambique this is way too much better like for real sorry guys i have to just make this all right it is way too much better as i was saying because you just kind of got to know the culture and the people here especially the old people they kind of very kind and they kind of come um, i have to stop saying kind of they come close to, they come close to ours and okay i'm not sure this is right but i think so i was saying that the people here most of the people who are older they are kind they approach us and just ask for us to take pictures with them and they not the shame of just talking with black people some of the young people they shy of like approaching and they're kind of like laughing like <laughs> 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 okay guys this is the only sentence I know how to say, like, without stopping or <laughs> trembling in Chinese. But the thing is this, the people are very kind. I know that some parts of China or in somehow you experience racism, and it's a real topic. Of course, it is real. We cannot ne neglect this part. But experiencing these places so far has been an amazing experience. It has been more interesting than just wake up leave the dorm go to the canteen go to the classroom so these holidays are amazing amazing so i don't know i don't even know if this microphone is working but it just feels good to hold it just like that and i was just saying that uh we met people from then from there like Many Chinese people like to just come across and ask for pictures because they kind of enthusiastically excited about seeing black people. And they kind of, oh, where are you from? And kind of Africa, the way they pronounce our countries, like Mozambique, it's very different. Um, but to sum up, it's very cool. Very cool. 
I met a girl in that place, a Chinese girl. Uh, she's called Michelle. Uh, this is her, Chinese, her English name because they kind of have Chinese name and English name because of the foreigners, I guess. And then she was very excited. One of the things that um, is culturally shocking for me is that Chinese people are almost genuine when they express what they feel. If they like something, they kind of prove it and saying it. But if they don't, they don't fake it. You will understand. And you, they will let you know eventually. So this girl was really excited about seeing us taking pictures with us which we exchanged our wechat which is the platform we use it it's like whatsapp but it's more developed than whatsapp and it's like she just like went out talking to us and she mentioned she was a christian i was like wow oh, it was so amazing because um uh, in my mind i can't say in the entire china because china is big I mean, in the province I am in, I have no idea or I'm clueless that Christianity is kind of alive or living here. But there are some churches. I heard some colleagues going to churches. And I was like, wow, it's just, it blew my mind to find a Chinese girl that is actually a Christian and who actually showed me her Bible. That was amazing because in my mind, it's like, this country is communist. We don't have nothing, nothing of Christ, nothing of Jesus, nothing. But she was holding her bi her Bible. I was like, wow. Is this the New and Old Testament? And yeah, it was. And I was like, shocked, amazing. I was in awe. Mm. And she, we talked. And she, she just showed me pictures on her phone of how they spend, they spend Christmas. They kind of have holding events over, over the Christmas, like, I think it, it was in her church, like they were gathering together, celebrating Jesus Christ's birth. So I was, I was interested. I was happy to know her. I, I was happy to connect with someone who can talk about the same things I think or I live and so on. And then she just um, told us that she would invite us eventually to go to her church's event maybe when they hold uh, a event an event related to i don't know what but she said that she would she would invite us and then that is it it was good actually it was amazing well i'm just continuing to show here guys a little bit of one show palace it was definitely interesting to go there one of the things i also realized is that chinese people in that place at, at um, specifically they value the Taoism. Taoism, it's a philosophy or a, a philosophy of life, a life philosophy that they pursue in order to be healthy, wealthy, healthy, wealth, and um, prosperous, live longer, live in peace, be kind. These are the values that they cultivate in China for, from, from what I, I've seen. So in that temple, we had seen so many big statues of the kings, f of or the kings from the, the specific past dynasties. So the kings were seen like gods, from what I understood. They were so big, and when you just uh, stand in front of the statues, there are some information, some warnings that say, please don't kneel down, don't offer any coins or any money, and don't don't make wishes or something. Because for now, I guess, they're just showing this as a cultural value, not religious thing. So people can't just bow there and offer something. they kind of admitting that this is the culture that we have, so we just have to keep it keep it inside this, the history and I was thinking and my, my friend was asking like how much money did they spend to build such a big temple because when you watch it when you watch when, when you look at it it's like the material and also the the doors are so big and I mean I think it takes more than two men to close those doors because it looks like the movies when you see Chinese movies the the last Chinese like the the very long times Chinese movies you see that when an empire creates a war or something and they kind of open the doors of the city or, or the village and you see the soldiers going out so it looks like it literally and 
experiencing this it's amazing i can say it's something different about it well i just hope you enjoyed this video i didn't plan to like talk too much or go on the details or something like that but i just hope you enjoy it bye